We're going to do it live. Do it live. Hey. Hello. Uh, Hello. It's, like it's like the Friday night fights. <laughs> Is it? I think it's like bum fights. <laughs> well, the old punch drunk guys. Sure. That's I, us. Think it's, I, think it, I think it's bum fights. Speaking of bums, speaking of a bunch of hobos, a bunch of winos, we're going to talk about some whiskey tonight. Ooh, we like whiskey. We do. We, we like, like whiskey. whiskey. We are Which whiskey up? fans. So what do we got, boys? What are we having? We got the wee beastie. We got from, some. From Ard the Bag. Bag. Oh, look at that. Bag. Ard Bag. So you got the full bottle, right? I did. I did. Look at it. It's got little scratches right. on it from the beastie. Right there. Oh, the beastie. Here's our little sample. Can we see that? Nice. nice. That's a nice, healthy sample. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Duty paid. Okay. So, so for the tax man that's watching us, the taxes were paid. Thank goodness. Absolutely. They were paid. I'm excited. I'm I, excited. I, a new a new art bag is always reason to be excited. I was very excited about this one in particular. Because, Why? Well, two reasons. Number one, they were going for a younger fee, which we've had a few youngish Isla whiskeys, and they are just just vibrant, fiery, and fantastic. They will smack you in the face. And also, unlike most releases that come out when they're special releases, they're not kicking you over the head with the price. This nope. is reasonably priced. Reasonably Why are you priced. All these violent analogies. <laughs> and punching and scratching. You know, speaking of violence. Speaking of violence. It's I, a wee beastie. I I'm missing it all night. I think I'm going with the right theme here. You know, because look at the look at the problem. Clawing their way through. It's like a raptor. It's like a raptor. <laughs> yeah. That like would be more than a wee beastie. It should be just dare, dare I click? Click. 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 Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Monster, it's a monster of a dram, they say. It's a monster of a dram. Now, so we, we've all had a lot of our bag. We have. We we did our cookie comparison, right? That's right. What worked? Oh, that's right. That was great. Yes. Um, the Arbeg and the, the uh, lemonade. So, so I'd say we're a fan. We are we've, a fan. Uh, we've had a lot of the uh, the ten and the no age statements. So the wee beastie now comes in. How old is this? Five. Five years Five old. Five years old. Five years old. So it's, it's ultra new. And Arbeg doesn't do a lot of uh, age statement stuff, no. right? So just no. the ten on the standard. Uh, product line, and then they come up with a a weirdly expensive one every once in a while, like a seventeen or a twenty one. Right. Um, but generally, they don't do the uh, age statement stuff. Right. No, not anymore. Like, uh, the Corey Reckon is still one that I. Oh, that was that was a whirlpool of death. <laughs> exactly. That was a good one. That's a good one, and but I, I think I like the Ugadal. Ugito. I don't yeah, know. Oogie's oh. good. Oogie's good. Oogie's great. Just, the 10 is just a solid whiskey. Uh, the 10 is always in my on my shelf. You got to have a 10. It's like Lagavulin like 16, Ardbeg 10, Lafroig 10. If you don't have any other whiskeys, those are the ones to have. Yep. I would agree. So shall I read? Especially if you want a peated one, right? Yep. Shall we read a little bit? Read away. Right away. Ardbeg Wee Beastie is the latest permanent expression to join the distillery's ultimate range. At just five years old, Wee Beastie is a fiery young creature with a formidable taste. Just like you. That's me. Is it formidable or is it formidable? Uh, is it gala or is it gala? I don't know. I think it's a gala. It's a gala? Depends whether it's fabulous. Uh, or <laughs> Something big and smoky, just like you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Our whiskey creator set out to make the rawest, smokiest Ardbeg ever. The result is Ardbeg Weed Beastie. And this tongue-tingling, beautifully smoky dram is the youngest Ardbeg we've ever made. On the snout, intense... Oh, I'm not going to read that. Uh, I'm leading the witness. Anyway, the point is it's supposed to be a big one. A biggin. Biggin. A biggin. Biggin. Remember uh, when it were five years old? They, they finished this in sherry, but at five years, how long could it be in sherry for? Couple months. Couple months. Young and intensely smoky is a dram untamed by age. Matured and ex bourbon and Oloroso sherry casts. Wee Beastie is perfect for enjoying meat or as the mouthwatering main ingredient in a powerfully smoky cocktail. 
So, all right, let's talk about this. All righty. Let's, let's get into it. It's uh, kind of golden color. Yep. I mean, with a, with, a, with a slight, very, very slight amber hue. It's a little leggy. Very, very light Not color. Not to be confused with Hugh Grant or Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Laurie. Hugh Laurie. We got Hugh Laurie. Who else? Anybody else? Huey Long. Does that count? He's American. Oh, no. Huey Lewis. Huey, Huey Lewis. Lewis. Huey Lewis. And the news or without the news? Baby Huey. <laughs> Baby Huey. Baby Louie. <laughs> Baba Booey. Baba Foo Fa Fooey. Now we've gone too far. Never. Can we really? Okay, so so we got oh the, my gosh. The, the, the nose is lovely. It smells like peat. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the alcohol vapors, which for bit. 47, I wouldn't think you would. It's, it's it was 47 point something? Point four? 47.4. Yeah. I like this picture, by the way. 474. But the peat, boy, that's, you know, front and center. No kidding. You're right, Mike. This has this this has some legs. It's mm -hmm. a bit oily. Yeah. You know, I like that they went with four seven four. It's sort of like seven forty seven, which would be a whole different recipe. Wow. This could be something. Maybe it's like Jet Fuel. Maybe it's like Jet Fuel. I don't, I don't think you're supposed to be drinking that. <laughs> sure you are. Why not? We've hit rock bottom, haven't we? I started We're below rock bottom. <laughs> I think I I rock bottom, and I put it in a basement. I think I've said rock bottom about 15 times today, or this week. Well, it does smell it's great. Nice. It is. It's really, it's just beautiful. You know, it's vapory, but it's not like uh, uh, nasal burning. No. No, it's not. But it, no. But it, but it smells like it's going to be hot, smoky yep. and hot. It does. Mr. Spears chiming in from vacation. <laughs> <laughs> with a married with children reference. Uh huh. And let's not forget Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Louie, Louie. Louie, Louie. Are we going in? Yeah, I think so. I guess it's Wait, let me go back to the nose for a second. Hold on. Oh, definitely. Definitely Pete. Definitely Pete. But then you get some sweetness. You get That's sherry, I think. You get what? The sherry, maybe. Yeah. It's a monster of a dram. Did I mention that? Uh, I you know, it did. It says it. Let me tell you. Let me show you. It, it says it. Oh, where'd it go? Wow. It says it right there. It's a monster of a dram. Monster. Wow. See that? Blue. Wow. Monster. Big. Wow. You know, I get some vanilla on it too. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? You okay? Yeah, Mike's, Mike's, Can we throw you a lifeline? Can we throw you uh, uh, an oar? I, I think the claws just came out and went right through my esophagus. Wow, oh, that'll happen. This is this is so. I can't believe it's only a five-year-old. It's it's just so good. Ooh, that is a lot of smoke and that's a lot of heat. Oh, and and your tongue is just like they grab a hold of it and pull oh. it out. Roll it back in like a lampshade. But it's so, really, really nice. I don't get the heat so much. I get the, the smoke yeah, thing. And like a, and like a peppery oh. spice. It seems really sweet to me. There is a little, there is a good bit of sweet. And it almost has a Kalila-ish sweetness of, for a young Kalila. Yeah. Hmm. I can see that. And there's a little bit of salt to it, too. Oh yeah, there's little, definitely a you know, salinic quality where the the sweetness the kind of the sweet and salt balance each other, where it's not overly sweet. There's some dryness too, though. On the back end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty dry. Wow. And the, the finish is a little short. And I'm getting a little bit of like herbal notes, you know, some some licorice or maybe some. Yeah, I was get, just gonna say that it's like the anise. That is it. Mm -hmm. Anisette. 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 Good. A little agua. That is good. Wow. That is very, very good. You know, it's That's short, good. but there's a great 
mouth lingering yeah. feel. Yeah. It's all it's all in here. There's it's all in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's good. And, and, and it's for five years. You know, all that. Oh, got it. Old stuff. The old stuff's better. <laughs> you know, I don't know. We, I mean, we've said this on numerous videos. I think with the with the Iowa stuff. You know, I like the younger. Me too. In most cases, uh, I, and, and, and I think they they've decided now when it's ready, it's ready. Yeah. So yeah. You know, I think it's an interesting. Uh, uh, offering from Ardbeg to come up with something young like this. I mean, you got Kilhoman, you got was everything was young because it's a new distillery, right? right. And everyone so, else on the uh, island is pretty much older stuff. But then the Port Charlottes were like, you know, one, there were two, three, four, and they're up to ten now. I think. Twelve, I, twelve, I think is the old one, oldest one now. But even that. And the Octomars are like relatively young, actually. They're like five years old, I think. Mm -hmm. But this is interesting from them, I think. It's interesting add on to the, to the, wherever this is, to the, the rest of the, the rest the of ones, yeah. those guys. Yeah. So are you saying you like Ardbeg? I do. I like, <laughs> He's wearing a shirt. I like, I I like the Ardbeg. You know, by the uh, way, this is, this is really the only reason we invite you to, to tag along is because you know you have all the merchandise. I do. But Regardless of the distillery. I've had old ones though, and they're not as like like any old whiskey to me. They're not that interesting after a certain point. Mm. Twenty one. I've had a some of the really old stuff when they re before they reopened, and I don't know. They're just sort of too mellow. It's, yeah, just they sort of lose their punch, and they're you know they're not. Real hot anymore, and the mm. peat's sort of dissipated a bit. This this one's got some fire. I want to know that it's peated. I don't want to have the to flavors, guess at it. The flavors don't get rounded at anymore; they get blunted, I guess. Yeah, saying, right? yeah. it's like like these fifty year old Macallans and Balvenies, and you know, I don't get it. What was that one we had at uh, at Mark's house? Is that like a thirty year old Talisker or something? Talisker, yeah. And, and when you had it, you didn't even know you were drinking a Talisker. Yeah. Not that it wasn't good, but everything you expected from a Talisker was gone because right. it was just so old at that point. And, that, and that's the one that when we added a little bit of water, it fell apart. Yeah. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Uh, that would be interesting with this one, maybe a little bit of water. But so I'm going back for a second pour of this one. And it, it, it is good. Um, we've got the 10 also, right? Yes. So should we compare just as it? So price-wise, I think they're the same. The five is a slightly higher ABV by like 1.4 percent. Yeah, well, yeah. But the age is, you know, 50 percent younger. Is is the ten all bourbon cask? I believe it is. Yes. It's all. Yeah. It's just, it's so good. I'm just, and, and I love the ten. I think the ten is, is still. If someone says, you know, what do I have to have on the back bar for people that like Pete? You, you can't go wrong with the ten. You really can't. It's easy to yeah. find. It's, it's readily available. It's consistently good. And that's we're the big thing. You want to find something that's everywhere. You know? Are we talking about me or our Big Ten? I'm consistently sorry. good? You, obviously. You. you. You're the best. I am the best. <laughs> what did Carly, Carly Simon song? What was it? Nobody does it better? And this is in my Pete and Meaton class. Look at that. The Pete continues. The Pete. Wow. Look at you. Show off. This is in my American whiskey convention class that we didn't nice. get to have this year. Uh, <laughs> oh. Don't even start with the event stuff. Wah, yeah, wah, yeah, we don't want to talk about that. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want to talk about that stuff. Wah, wah. You know, the only thing worse than three drunk guys on camera, three drunk crying guys on camera. Yeah, whiny guys. You know, whiny. I cried one time. One time. You're and yes. for a fight. Don't fetch. Don't, don't fetch. Don't fetch. <laughs> a kibitzer, not a kibitzer. <laughs> Ah, uh, the ten's great. You know, the the ten's just, it's just like you know, I want to say almost mellow compared to the five. It is mellow. Yes, it's, it's just so good. Would that be weird if the five became our favorite after all this? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I think that they are definitely different though, because I think the the five, the ten, you get a lot more vanilla and sweetness on it. It's because it's in a bourbon cast for ten years, right? Or right. at least ten years. Sorry, none of that. Yeah. That's the thing. It's a little more herbally on the nose. The 10? The 10. 
than the five was. It's definitely more complex, more I think. There's more flavors going on there. Yeah. More with the ten things. The ten, I think. And the ten. Yeah, I think the, the ten is more layered. Layered. That's a good word. But the five, the oomph to the five, that's mm. Because this is a pretty short finish, too. What, what's nice about this, though, is they're both around the same price point. They're both around the same ABV. But it's almost like you get two art bags for two different moods. Yep. You know, the 10 is definitely more, and it's funny to hear us saying that now, is more easygoing. It is, comparatively. I There's hate the, you. Uh, <laughs> I hate beast, you. The beast is like a, is a beast. It, it, yeah. It's a good, it just, I mean, it's in your face. Claws and what all. Do we, what do we like the 10 on? Vanilla ice cream. Oh, everything. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yes. I bet you I like the 10 on the wee beastie. Yeah. Mm. You mean pour the 10 over the beastie? I bet you the five <laughs> and the 10 together would be interesting. Yeah, probably make the seven and a half. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Blender. Master Blender. The 10, the, 10 is, the 10 is just so freaking solid. You yeah. Can, I say, yeah. can I say freaking on this? Sure, you can. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Our last couple of guests have been dropping F bombs. So we're keeping it pretty clean, I'd say. Keeping it real. Wow. Real stupid. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I like the 10. Uh, yeah, the 10. The 10's great. Right. I mean, the, the I'm, 10, going, I'm yeah. going back. But they're, they're, what's nice they're, about they're, the scene, though, you know, it, this is almost hitting into like LaFroid country with the intensity. The ten or the oh, yeah. the beastie the five, the yeah the wee beastie the, yeah. beastie. the, the beastie. wee beastie is, is almost there, but it doesn't have the medicinal notes and the brininess of the Lafroy. Right. Well, there's and, a little bit it, of brininess, but not. Well, not I mean, not as not as not intense. the intensity of it. And you know, sometimes when you drink two from the same one, it's like night and slightly later that night. Yes. Two are like night and day. Yeah. It's really they're, they're two different drams completely. And but not that one's good or bad, but they're just totally different. It's different. They're just different. But I, I think, and I think I might like the five more. So what's interesting, I think, about the five is you're really seeing what I mean. You're not at you're not at new at new make yet, right? You're five years past new make, but you're getting down to what Ardbeg is. Yeah. Right. The basic Ardbeg. The ten's been around. You know, it's been sitting around for a while. Um, What's this? Why buy the beastie when you can buy a ten for four bucks it's more? Just, it's it's different. different. I think they're just different. Yeah. Just a question. If you if you want that PD smack in the face, guilty, then the five is really yeah, you're that's gonna it. Get, you're gonna get more of it from the five. Yeah. Huh? By the way, what happens in the Kraus household stays in the Kraus household. Okay. <laughs> Mister getting slapped around. Hey now. With Pete, I don't know where he's getting the Pete from. <laughs> and plus, he always mailman. says nice things. He's the mailman. <laughs> uh, oh my! Wow. That is wow, so. Wow, wow. Going back to the beastie, I really am getting more of that young, sweet. I said I'll say it again. Kalila ishness. That's yeah. a hard word to say. Kalila ishness. Can that be our word for the day? Kalila ishness. <laughs> sure. Drop from the drop from the ceiling now. Do we get a hundred bucks? No, 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 no. I'm going to say this is your word. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's his line. It's time, it's time to play our game now. <laughs> What's the secret word? Kalilishness. 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 That almost I'm, sounds like a Scottish word, like you're throwing a bunch of syllables together. <laughs> that, don't, that shouldn't go together. It looks like an eye chart. Scottish. <laughs> I like the five. <laughs> I'd smack you in the face for free. <laughs> uh, right. That's a long line of people I have outside already. I don't need any more. <laughs> that would be the Wookiee, I believe. <laughs> that's, that's uh -huh. just, I like in the five. And I was going to share some of this, and now I don't think I will. He could go spend either. his own $45. What would the soup Nazi say? No soup for you. No, no soup. soup. <laughs> no, we no beastie for you. No, we no we beastie for you. Uh, I think you're right though. There there are two different whiskeys. Yeah, really totally different. Hmm. 
Mm. It's, and, and, and glass drainers. They're both really good. You're going to finish oh, yeah. that before. I mean, I'm, I'm already on my third and second. I don't know. I'm not even sure you get a whole lot of uh, Oloroso in the in the Beastie. Yeah, I yeah. think the, the peat is so omnipresent. Well, and, and at five years, how long could it have been in Oloroso sherry? A couple yeah. of months, three months? Whatever. Probably, yeah. Whatever the minimum is to say it was in a sherry barrel. Because you don't get the fruit notes. You don't get any of that. You just yeah. kind of tempers a little bit of the smoke with a little sweetness. I think we got that more on the nose than, than on the, the, the taste. But I like it. It just, uh, I guess I never really thought about having something young or in your face, Art Becky. You know, we're used to the. Another, another word you're making, Art Becky? Uh, I'm making them up. I'm making them up. Art I'm Becky. making them up. So we got these, guys, these guys, they're really hard to point backwards on this freaking camera thing. Those guys back there, they, oh, just, they uh, yeah. They're not. They're not. Well, I guess Ugadol is kind of in your face, right? Because the because you got to ABVs up there, and I, and, I Corey and Corey more the uh, the Corey was more the. It's bigger. It's like it's like fifty six or something. That's more of a kick in the crotch. Yeah. Now <laughs> this is completely, why would you want that? Because <laughs> yeah. he's Mister Jackass. I love this yeah. show. That's me. That's me. I'm the jackass. The uh, but this is a whole different world than the um, your uh, alligators, your roller coasters, your supernovas. Uh, those are different, and and primarily because the ABVs are so high on those. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Then yeah. those are in your face a bit, not a bit, a lot. But this is interesting because it's so young and sweet and peak. That was uh, the alligator was one of the uh, the introductory drams at one of the society event, one of the uh, the extravagances. Yeah, and that was a crowd pleaser. People couldn't oh, get it's enough. Oh, great! Of that. And now I've, you can get it. <laughs> yeah, I've had it. A, I've had it a few times, and <laughs> no comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what we're dealing uh, with. It's a family show. Uh, it is when so sad. Young, so I sad. So sad. I lost your audio, Ange. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You hear me? No audio. I no can't audio. hear you. Yeah, but I can see that. The, the, I can't the, hear Mike either. Comments about the wee beastie and the Corey Reckon being most similar because of the pepper notes. Am I back? Can't hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. I can't hear you guys. I think it's you. I can hear everybody. I'll come back. I'll log out and come back. Okay, you hear me, Mike? Now let's talk about him. I can hear you. Yes. Uh huh. You know, should I? Should, he's in the green room. Did <laughs> you should, let's there? leave him there. <laughs> uh huh. Did you? Uh, did you do the snacks there? Let's bolt the door shut. He's in there with Matt Damon. Is <laughs> he? will never be on the show again. Uh. That's funny. Oh, where is it? Bring it up. It's right here. Remember it. I got it right here. Courtesy of you, Sam. Three years, that's good. That's really good. Are you back? Can you hear us? We see you. Uh, is he back? I don't can know. you hear me? I hear you. I can hear you. I would see you. You can hear me. Hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. Because Rush does suck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, they're terrible. <laughs> terrible. All right. He's, he's, out, again. Again. he's out again. So, so okay. now we, we've had a, a large number of our bags, probably five or six at this point, right? Oh, probably more than that, but yeah. And I would say this is another great dram from them. It really is. I can't say anything wrong about it. Mm. No, no, not at all. These are really, really good. Um, I mean, the, the ten is 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 a solid A in my book, and and I think you gotta love the price point that they're not pricing it so it's crazy expensive. No, it's it's, it's accessible. It's accessible in a lot of ways. And price it gets to be everywhere. Price. Yeah, you know, and this one also price wise accessible the whole bit. Oh, that's good. Cool. 
We could, uh, we could, uh, should we have a special guest? Sure. What do you want to add? Should we add a separate should we add a special guest? Lola Falana? Uh, maybe. Maybe we could do Lola Falana. Is Charo in the green room? Charo? I don't know. Where is where is the crafts? We lost them. I don't know. I guess he's having trouble with his buds. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, but wait, let me see what we got here. Uh, do you have my my hair, so. a cup. Are you using it? Yes, I'm using it. I'm getting asked for a cup. Do you see this? This is what I'm working with here. What um, did you say? Now? This is what I'm working with here. What did you say? Well, is he back? He's not back yet. Um, well, I, anyhow, I know he's cancel. I don't know. Where is that? I don't know. We lost them. So I got to say, you know, thanks to the folks at our bag for your contacts because boy, this was good. really good. And as far as the product from our bag, I got to go to Isla. I really got to go. I gotta go you got to get her one day. But unfortunately, as I share the screen, um, let me see where it's at here. Let me go back to it. You know, if you try to do the tour, Sadly, sadly, wait for it. I'm waiting for it. Are you waiting for it? Yep. Oh, that's nice. Can't do it, man. At least until July 31st. Oh. No, no can do. No can do. No, we can't can do. do. Oh. And now that we're like, you know, the, the banished Americans, I guess they'll put us on a 14 day quarantine anywhere we go, right? Probably. So even if we went there, we'd have to spend three weeks there to see anything. So, oh, would we? <laughs> That'd be fine. I wouldn't mind being quarantined there. I'd be okay for three weeks. Uh, I think he's back. What I miss? He's back. You missed us. Can you hear us this time? I can. What'd you do? Reboot? I uh, unplugged my. Uh, Headphones and replug them back in. It must be hey, some how, connection. How was the green room, by the way? Sorry? How was the green room? The green room was great. There's donuts this time. Oh, nice. And cheese puffs. Hey, you know, I'm going to go there for a little while. You guys chat. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Once you said donuts, he was out. Now we're never going to see him again. No, he's going to go down the block, isn't he? Hopefully he wears a mask. Back. He'll come back. There'll be, you know, <laughs> donut crumbs everywhere. Frosting and sprinkles. And exactly. And Raspberry exactly. jelly. What we think is powdered sugar will be all over. <laughs> Hopefully it's from a donut. Who knows? He may have a problem. He, he so while you were gone, we were, I was saying that we've tried a large number of art bags, you know, at least half a dozen. And I don't know that I've had one I didn't like. And I think this falls right into that same line. That this yep. is just another, another great bottle to put on the shelf in, in their lineup. This isn't a, a fair uh, discussion, but at L LA Scotch Club had a, an event two years ago, three years ago, and we had we actually had twenty one art bags, and but they were in these tiny little um, uh, the little cups used at uh, communion, the little tiny right. little guys, right. thim right. thimbles. Um, in the beginning, yeah. you know, you actually could taste things. Towards the end, you wouldn't really know. Yeah. But there was a lot that were just sort of even on even with the thumb 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 thimbleful, right. they were just sort of yeah. And a lot of them were those right. old the old things. Right, the real old stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them were the old things. Yeah. And I think that that's probably my problem because I don't have that great palate that can tell you that an old thing is great. <laughs> well, I think the more you've had some of the old stuff, yeah. it doesn't really taste you. like it's yes. worth the worth the dollar value, you know. Yeah. Well, that's. That's that, to me, that's the big thing. Is that it might taste great, but I'm not going to pay for it. So I don't. And that's the downside of the art bag is that it's it's such a I don't know overhyped, like happy kind of thing, and it's, yeah. everything's expensive. I'm trying to find it, and limited, and beyond the five, they're all very limited, right? Yeah. The the art art bag, limited, limited release and limited bottles to the U.S. I'm the sure. art bag days are pretty small. Yeah. The committee ones are really small, and once they're gone, they're gone. And and I, I gotta say, from the society bottlings, 
it's it's rare I've ever seen an art bag from them either. So have I they had? Like there's a lot out there. Have you see, have you actually had any? No, I, I I don't know that I have. I mean, early on, maybe one, but I wasn't a smoke guy then. I didn't really like Isla's. Oh, so you're a smoke guy now? That dragged me under the bus. We took him under the bus, the bus right? On me. Uh -huh. Right near the tail. Hey, hey, may, I, may I jump in here? Jump Please. away. Uh, we, we've got a special guest here. A special guest? We got a special guest. We got, the, we got the Malt Muser. Oh, he's like Bob Hope, right? He is. Is, like he, promo Hope. is he promoting his Christmas special? He, <laughs> is, is he going to sing or dance? <laughs> does he have Joey uh, Heatherton with him? What's that? Does he have Joey <laughs> Heatherton with him? Yeah, he does. Or Lola Falana? Yeah. So I should give him a couple more minutes in the green room? Is that what you're saying? No, nah, bring Come him on. out. Bring him in? Bring Back him on. Back on the USO tour. That's right. right. He's going to be All touring right, uh, right. Kuwait and Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> there Hello. he is. The muser. Hi -oh. Cheers. 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 The green room is uh, well stocked, by the way. I, uh, I appreciate all the refreshments and everything you put out. Uh, I am not Bob Hope, but unfortunately, I can uh, do a whole <laughs> thing. Are you Dolores Hope? <laughs> are you, are you Bing Crosby? Are you Norm Crosby? Uh, I'm, I'm none of those things. I, I am just a humble whiskey drinker, my friend. And it's great to see all of you guys again. How good are you? you? We're good. We're good. So what, do you, what do you got in the class? Um, well... I saw that you guys were chatting Art Bag, and that got, of course, got me excited. I am finishing up a dram of uh, Kill Home and Lock Gorm, Ooh, uh, yeah. which is nice. really enjoyable. Is this the new one? Uh, or? Yeah, um, well, this is the 2019 release, so I don't have the 2020. I know that at least I've seen amongst the uh, Twitter sphere and whatnot that the 2020 is out, but this is still the 2019. Um, enjoying it, though. It's really, really good. Yes, and I saw you guys are doing our bag. I do have some our bag black here that I'll pour after this. Is it black or is it black? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> black. Three A's. Black. Black. It's so black that I can't tell how much I have left. But by the judging That's, by the way, it, it's not enough. I haven't and opened mine yet. It's not good. Problem where the men are men and the sheep are scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you guys. How's everybody doing? We're good. All right. We have our bag, so we're really happy. Yeah, is this uh, everybody's inaugural cracking of the wee beastie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys had it before. Nope. First yeah, yeah. time. Cool. It's good. I, li I like it, and I think the price point's perfect. You know, something that you know you're not overly charging for something that's this young, and, and the flavors mm -hmm. are all there. It really works for me, anyway. Ange, what do you think? Put that in an old fashioned. Oh, this one. Oh, that'd be fun. Wouldn't it be fun? That would be good. That would be very good. That may be tomorrow night while I'm uh, smoking something on the smoker. What do you make it? I don't know yet. No. Oh. But this could be the uh, this could be a good baster, actually. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Let it this, sit overnight. Because it's cheap. This would actually be really good for that kind of thing. Let it sit in it overnight. Yeah. I something would I would out. put this I would put this on a brisket. Yeah. Yeah. In a, in a in a marinade. Oh, I think we lost. we lost him. We must yeah. want more donuts. I didn't know if it was the uh, I don't know if it was the whiskey or what, but he, he looked frozen for a second there. Yeah, I looked like froze. Either that or he can stay very still for long periods of time. I got the uh, that's me usually. Um, I got the black one all the art bag black also the non committee release. I haven't opened it yet though. Black, <laughs> black, black Jack. <laughs> Hold that question. Last time we did this, we had our we had our dear friend Robin Robinson on, and we were approaching uh, twelve hours. Yeah, Four. we were in Springsteen territory. Yeah, we were. You can spin a yarn. Yes, we were kind of like in um, uh, government mule. Uh, we're giving one of those other fish kind of thing going on. We were we were there for like a, fish a festival, concert. yeah, fish, fish and government mule and uh, what's that other one? That they're annoying. I don't know. Grateful Dead. Can I say that and not get like hammered? I'm not a fan. Me so, neither. Okay, it's fine by me. Oh, you're back. I'm. He's back. Hello, that gentleman. Uh, my computer decided to update in the middle of our conversation. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Damn you, I Apple. You were 
They must have known just them. being very still for a long period of time. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we have bored you to tears. Yeah. Anyways, it's nice to be back. So you guys are all sipping on the Arbeg Wee BCS. And BC. 10. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. Sam. Oh, Sam. Brush, brush socks. <laughs> so, so are all of you uh, heavily peated Isla single malt fans, or is this? Two of us are. <laughs> Two of <you>? no. <laughs> Not Mike. Okay. Two thirds think- of us. I've been dragged kicking and screaming there, and, and I don't scream quite so much anymore. He's been peat fog boarded. Yeah. You're worn down, huh? Well, I, I, I discovered that you can actually expand your palate, that there's more out there than the same what? old, same old. What? There's more to like than Jameson. Well, that is truth. And God knows there's more to life than Jameson uh, cold brew. Coffee, coffee brew. <laughs> <laughs> God. I don't but even know what that is, but it sounds horrid. Than oh. Jameson in your cold brew. I'm not sure. <laughs> that's yeah. okay. No. I'm, I'm that might, that's champion. probably okay, right? <laughs> Maybe a cast drink, Jameson. Yes. Yes. What's your what, what's our favorite um Isla whiskeys? Mm, I, I have to say, and I, I know we've talked about it, the 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 independent bottlings of Kalila are are quickly yeah. climbing up in the ranks. Yeah. The Looks Ferry Brothers good. bottle you have is really, really good. Oh, oh I gotta find that is one. That again. The Ferry Brothers Eleven, by chance, because that Ferry Brothers Cast Strength Eleven. We talked about that. We talked about that last time. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'm, that's right. 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 Yeah. I was sipping on that a little earlier. That it. I. It's still just great. That might make oh. my top five whiskeys that I've tried. I need, here. I need to. Uh, absolutely. You guys, and send me that number again. That was the bought the cast on it because I want to see if I can find it again. I get it. It was a total oh, wine. Good. Yeah. yeah, it was a total wine, and it was also like sub sixty bucks, if I recall. Yeah, I think it was around sixty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I the independent bottlings of Kalila are just great. Yeah. Generally, not all. That one I got at Binnie's, and when we were in Chicago, that yes. was great. That was awesome. Uh, I think that when I was with you, um, the single cast nation stuff. Mm-hmm. Those are all good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hard to hard not to like the Kalilas. But you know, speaking of independent bottlings, your Bradley's Kalila right here. This is really that's, good. That's Kalila. Really good Kelpie. That's really good. Have you ever had an independent bottling from Ardbeg? Have I had an Arna? Uh, I oh yeah. Well, well, boutique whiskey companies. That's the one I had. The twelve year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was good, but for a three seven five mil bottle for one hundred twenty five bucks. Wow. No, they're very, very. They, they are very appreciative of their whiskeys there. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, they let. They're very. Yeah, that's. I probably have had another one, but that's the one. Most recently, it's hard to find it them. Be, it better be really good for that price. Really, yeah. really, really. Yeah, good. I agree. Yeah. yeah, and I don't remember. Well, you can get the ten, or now you can get the wee beastie for you know fifty yeah. six bucks. Yep. What you, yeah. What do you? What is your? What's the overall opinion on the wee beastie? I joined a little late, so my apologies, but. Uh, I uh, I was able to get it. I mean, not not too long ago. Uh, did a little uncorking a review on my channel. But I'd, be, uh, I'd be curious what your initial impressions are, especially for the Pete fans here. I liked it. I, well, I think we all liked it, but it was in your. It's different because it's young. It's in your face. It's so sweet. That's why I said Kalila ishness. Is that what I said? Um, yeah. And it's uh, it's it, it's in your face. It's not like the other hard bags. It's not it's not sort of nuanced. It's boom. Mm-hmm. I like I like boom once in a while. Yeah, it's it's vibrant. It's a little sweet, a little salty, but so much peat, and it's it's right there. I mean, it's it's and I, it's hard. I, I, it, it seemed rounded enough for a five year that it wasn't like a dare. Yeah, yeah. it was good. And it's hard to argue with forty five dollars. I thought it was interesting, like and commendable but for that matter that they both put the age statement on it and that it's bottled it i i forgive me if i'm wrong it's like 47 percent 47.4 47.4 yeah i mean i'll give them this right i mean if you think about the other 
Isla heavily peated scotches. I think of Lafroy in specific, where they try to introduce a sub 10 year old bottle. And you look at like Lafroy Select, which is chill filtered, colored 40%. And yeah, I don't know, five, 10 bucks cheaper than the 10. I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, like who's who's gonna pull the trigger on that? I mean, now granted, it was in some cases sub $40. And you know, look at the wee beastie, and you're like, okay, like they're 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 gonna put the number on it, they're gonna non-chill filter it, it's gonna be over 40% ABV, and it's gonna be a bit cheaper than the 10. I mean, that's all very commendable in my opinion. And maybe I don't know if it speaks to a greater trend, but nonetheless, like they didn't go the Lafroig Select route, which is commendable in my opinion. <laughs> well, you know, the old the old story was the old days, it was ten dollars per year, right? So this is a fifty. Yeah. This is about a fifty dollar whiskey, right? The, on the price level, yeah. that's yeah. that's fair. But now we've seen this where it's not it's not ten dollars per year. It's fifteen or twenty dollars per year in some cases, and it's overpriced. Yeah. And that I, maybe there's a trend here. Hopefully, there's a trend towards cheaper prices. But it it just it's a it's probably more. I'm guessing their their attitude is this is a starter art bag. And I don't know if it's a starter. Well, it, on the price on the price point, it is on the and, price point. Once you get in and there, then, and then and then you're going to the ten, and then you're or Oa, an Oa, yeah. and then you're going to our the ten. That's the goal, right? Is get you to the whole lineup. If, if you get into like if someone picks up a five, thinking this is going to be their start, Easy drinking, uh, they're in for a rude awakening. Yeah. So then, so then you're saying after that you're trying to score some in the park? Is that what happens? At this point? <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. You're going, down, you're going down a dark, dark path. path and, yes. you, know, you, know, you watched The Wire, right, Aaron? I did. Remember when they did the Amsterdam episode? <laughs> yes. And they were all like, WMD, get your WMD. <laughs> this is a WMD. Yeah, yeah. It's WMD. Yeah. It's the start of something very bad. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. It just, I think for the, it's hard not to, bring up the price in this because um oh look at sam <laughs> yeah totally well i mean it's interesting that you bring that up because i mean i luck, sam. i always consider price in my the reviews that i do and it's mostly because well i don't have uh you know a trust fund that i can just buy anything with <laughs> and not think about it just don't the price matters to me and and it what was interesting about the the we beefy when I was reviewing it was that overall comparison between the ten and like so I thought about it kind of in two ways and let me know if you guys kind of you know what you think about this but you know the first way I thought about it was how it stands on its own and then the second way I thought about it was how it compares to like something else in their range and where I landed was okay. You're creating a cheaper age stated art bag. Is it an introductory art bag? Like, is that the first peated whiskey you would pour somebody who's just getting into Isla Scotch? For no. me, the answer yeah. no. no. And then the second question was Is that the whiskey that I would pour for myself if I wanted just a good art bag? Yes. It was also no. Uh, <laughs> for me. no. And, and the reason was, is that. The art bag 10, which I think is just a personally thought was a just an all around better whiskey, is like not more than eight dollars more. And so I, I it left me thinking it was good on its own merits. I don't know if I would buy another bottle specifically because I think to myself, I would just rather have the 10. And so I'm curious if like how it landed with y'all in, in respect to those two things and and what they're what you guys speculate they're going for with this, uh, given everything that we've talked about. I th I think that they're they're trying to show what Ardbeg is, young. This is yeah. un untamed, right? And what's interesting is that it's a, at, at the price point that it is at, because normally everything would be expensive. At, you know anything with a number on it's going to be expensive. Um, I think it's to show that the. the the punch of a young art bag. That's, I'm 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 stunned that they don't. It has has a low price like this, with a forty seven point four number on it too. Yeah. Um. So we were talking earlier when we were reviewing it. 
they're almost apples and oranges, the two, the 10 and the five, right? Yeah. You almost can't put them in the same conversation because the 10 has got some life on it. It's got some nuance to it. There's different layers, like Anne said. Um, the five, though, is all about in your face, right then and there. It's not going to nuance you to death. There's no complexity. It's, it's just what... Uh, what I would think that our young art bag is. And I think that's, that's the goal. I don't think it's, I think it's more, more like a service. Like it's more of a release for existing art bag fans then like, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, except that it's in their standard, uh, it's in their standard line. So it's mm -hmm. not low volume. This is going to be as high a volume as 10 yeah. and the other ones. Right. So maybe, but yeah, I, I think they sell I, a lot of 10 though. I definitely think it's for people who like art bag. And if you like, if you're going to buy the Cory Brecken and the Ugadal and the Anoa, you're going to buy this one too because they're all different in their own way. Mm, and yeah. at this price point, you're, you're going to buy this one before you buy some of the other ones, probably. Like so, no brainer. I'll buy the ten because I like the ten. Yeah. yeah. Buy this one, you know? Well, don't you want? So there's these five. Uh, you want the range. Standard. There's there's this five range. You don't want you don't want them to be the same. You want them to be different. Want the range, yeah. Right. So right. this is different. It's it's one. It's a different card in the hand. What they call and, that? and if, 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 if you're somebody who likes Ardbeg and you're bringing people around to it and you pour them out the 10 and they like the 10, do you want to pour off something else and show what else is out there? You know, how it becomes like, this is the 10. This is what happens when they do other stuff to it. Mm -hmm. You know, sherry casket, oh, do something else. You know, I, I just think it works. I, to, for me, it works. That's Especially good. the price point, you can't complain. Yeah, that's price point. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to argue with the price. Five year old experiment. I was looking on uh, whiskey base to see what other folks are saying. Yeah, I agree that it's hard to argue on the price. I'm just not sure what. I I hear what you guys are saying. I'm still a little bit like unsure what the goal is if the goal is as you mentioned mike like art bag fans are just going to pick this up because it's a new art bag i mean that's been proven with the increasing prices of their annual releases right i mean i luckily got a bottle of the art bag black this is the committee release i got for a hundred nice a year ago this was 110 120 if you look on the market right now, the standard release of this, you know, they they put out the non-committee release versions every year. Yep. It's now on the market, it's selling for 140. Yeah. NAS, like to me, like I wonder, is the Ardbeg fan saying to themselves, Well, I'm gonna buy this Wee BC, but you know, I have a hard cap on the what I'm gonna pay for these annual releases, versus like, are they trying to introduce Ardbeg to a younger or a crowd that wants to spend 10 bucks less than the 10. And that's where I get like a little yeah. bit confused because part of me thinks if I was going to introduce someone to Pete with the goal of like, I, you know, we all do it because we want them to enjoy it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like you want to try a peated whiskey. That's going to it's smoky whiskey, not just peated, but smoky. That's going to have some like potential, uh, euphoric, you know, uh, it's a paradigm shift. Now all of a sudden I have an expanded palette. Like, would you choose the Wee Beastie over the 10? And it's really less than 10 bucks more. And that, that, I guess that's where I got a little bit confused. But your point is well taken that, you know, to some degree, it might be kind of servicing both, right? Like, it's partially the the Ardbeg fan who's like, we want to try the raw spirit. And then maybe somebody who just wants to spend less. But, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, well, it's, uh, it's interesting. Fun. That they've I had. Think if I think if their goal was to go and, and get people to try more art bag, you would just cut the price for the tent because that's but, so good to begin with. Although you can get, get people in the you front can, door, you can get the tent pretty cheap sometimes. But I mean, but if that was like if you were trying to undercut, I don't yeah. think this is there to undercut the price of the ten. I just think it's right. to expand the horizon of you know if the ten sets a baseline of for ten year old whiskey is this much money, I can't charge more for the wee beastie. Because I'm marketing it as a five. Right. And if I did market point, it as a five, I could charge more for it. But yeah, yeah. to Aaron's point, it's like, I mean, if you're gonna 
you know, uh, for me personally, like Ugadal is my favorite art bag, but that's also 45 to $50 more than the 10. Yeah. And so it's like, if I'm going to cut the price of an art bag to share with somebody, is the difference of five to 10 bucks between yeah. the, you see the 10, <laughs> that much different, you know what I mean? Like, I what, am I, what am I splitting? Yeah, yeah. Right. And yeah. So it's interesting. Um, well, I think what's another part of this is, so this is LVMH, right? And they're a very, they're a luxury brand company. Nothing's cheap in their whole line of all the products that they sell. Of anything they sell. Of anything that they sell, yeah. right? So it's it's interesting. They brought in two for what for years they've had only three standard items on the on the, the chart, right? Right. Now in the last two years, they've brought in an OA and the five. Right. So are we are they marketing to a little lower uh price? conscious customer now a bit right that's not that's very un rub is because it's like if they're doing that why put the age statement on it and bottle it at 47 right like yeah. do yeah. what Roy did just it's the Lafroy yeah. select it's 35 bucks it's right. 40 percent it's 40 percent we get, or, we get or, even more to bottle or <laughs> lag of one lag of one eight or lag of there's a, you can get I think there's a six also somewhere um in Europe but same thing so I just LVMH is a very high end uh, luxury brand, and it's interesting that they would. I'm sure that they don't have total control over pricing on for, for right. the, the small little whiskey company that they've got. Well, what's Glen? What's what's Glen Glenmo stuff? I don't even know. What's a low end Glenmo? How the much does that cost? Glen Morangy? Yeah. The low end. 35, 40 bucks. Glenmo. Well, there yeah, you go. So now you've got you've got something in the same family. On the art bank side, makes sense. I don't know. It's just uh, strange to me that a luxury brand would start marketing to a lower price point. When well, I think a big part of it too is when you look at the business model. I mean, it's just a bad business model. You know, I'm going to make something I can't sell for ten years. Yeah, so well, if I can make something and I can taste it and sell it uh, yeah. half the time. It's a difficult business model. That's yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. difficult, right? It's I'm sorry. Sell while the selling's it's good. It's been around 200 years. I guess it's not a bad business. Model. No. Yeah, exactly. Well, at some, some point, people have made it work. <laughs> they well, we keep, we keep saying, we keep saying, when is the bottom going to drop out of drop out of this uh, whiskey boom? That's it. It could come. Well, you know, throw a tariff out there, and you know, put a few few hundred million people out of work, and you know. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Well, that's that's not very familiar to what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Scott, the Scott side of things are along the tariff. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this in your areas. There are a couple of distilleries that I've noticed the prices go up significantly yeah. and others that I haven't. So like, for example, I'm, I'm telling you, and I, again, I don't know. I know one of y'all is in Philly, Chilo, uh, but I know that uh, the rest of you are, are not. No, Mike's, Mike is. Mike is. Mike's in New Jersey. We're both outside. Oh, my bad, Mike. I'm in, I'm in LA. You're from West Philly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I've seen Lagavulin, and this is talking about South Jersey independent shops as well as the government shops in in uh, in uh, Philadelphia. I've seen Lagavulin 16 upwards of 90 to 100 bucks now. I've also seen Springbank, where Springbank 15 used to be a hundred dollar bottle, is 140, 150. Spring yeah. 10 is 90 bucks. Those two distilleries, I've seen the prices go up exponentially. Whereas I look at things like Highland Park, where even after the tariffs, and maybe they just haven't hit yet, I'm not sure. But like Highland Park 18 is still in that 130 range, and that's what it was three years ago. You know, some of these are still in those same oh. price ranges. And so to some degree, I wonder like, how you know it's affecting other some it seems if that's the causal factor to, uh, affecting certain distilleries more than others yep I mean, and then nothing to say about the bourbon craze which like of course no. that's driven totally by like fandom and like yep. disinformation and like people paying a hundred dollars for a weller special reserve like <laughs> you know but the scotch side of it is is a little bit interesting i think the terror go ahead bigger distillers can weather the tariff easier. 
because they have so many more bottles that are coming in. And the smaller yeah. ones, like a spring bank, there's nothing really they can do because it, they don't have the portfolio that some of the other ones have. Right. But well, it's you know, Lagavulin is Diageo, you know? Right. Oh, they're the Death Star. They can run yeah, this across. Yeah, yeah. True. You know, true. That's it. You know, well, I, can, I can tack that tariff on every single thing I send and spread it across the cost of everybody. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's not so bad. And they'll make all their money back on Johnny Walker and whatever, yep. right? Because that's where they make the, the, the bread. But I think Mike's point, to Mike's point, there's the beer companies have already had so much stuff in the pipeline already. So they probably weren't hit by the tariffs to some yeah. extent yet. So we may see that later on, but the smaller guys like, like spring bank, although they do a lot of volume, but not like, you know, not a Diageo volume, not, Diageo volume. Um, not, not our big volume. I'm sure. Uh, they probably can't afford to sit, to suck it up. They got to hit, hit, hit hard now because they're getting, they're getting tariffed on everything. Yeah. Yep. So we, I, I've seen it here too. I've seen that kind of strange, uh, <laughs> we're, uh, like it's a Lafroy 10 at Trader Joe's here was always thirty nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Always thirty nine ninety nine, and I think the last time I was there, which is now pre COVID, I think it was close. To, it was ten dollars more, I think. Wow. So that it's right there. Yeah, that's right there. That that's your that's your tariff. That's your tariff. Yep. It sucks, <laughs> and it's worse. If, it's worse for the guys going the other direction. You know, the guys, tr- the American guys, trying to sell into the U- EU is they're yeah. screwed, and that's not going away. It looks like no. In fact, I just saw it today, yesterday, that the government, our government, is talking about um, uh, more taxes on on wines coming this way. Mm. So, tariffs, I should say, which no. is tax. November. <laughs> November. <laughs> That's right. Vote your tariffs out. <laughs> In November. I noticed it first with uh, the Irish whiskey, where the price went through the roof. And the Japanese whiskey disappeared. Oh, forget Can't that. Can't find it anywhere. <clears throat> yeah. And and now a little a little bit of the scotch, depending on the brand, you see at a at a an odd price where it's almost eye catching. Where you walk down the aisle and you're like, oh my God, why is it that much now? Yeah. But before, you, know, you didn't bat an eye at it. I was at High Times a couple weeks ago, and I bought a bottle of uh, Lafroy Ten, and it came in a cool like uh, box thing, I and it was it, yeah. yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It's in the house. Um, I think it was, I think it was forty dollars. I think. I think. Was that the funky I, tin? What? Was that the funky tin? No, it wasn't a tin. It was more of a box, okay. like a like a little. Yeah, it was a, a box, like, like what you see the high end Lafroigs in, like the twenty five, the twenty eight, all that stuff. It's yeah. Like opening. It's not, yeah, it's not that good of a box, it's, but it's it's cool. <laughs> I had to get it. I'm like Mike. I like the shiny things. I think so shiny. I got. <laughs> If you guys hold on a second, I'll show you something. Yeah, if you ever see a box and you wonder who do they market that to, it was me. They marketed it to me. (laughs) I'm a packaging person. Hey, the packaging matters. I mean, let's be real. One of one of the guys we we hang out with, he says if they actually wrote on it "donkey piss," but they put it in a shiny bottle. You'd buy it and tell people about how nice the donkey piss is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, probably. probably do it. When I was at Ardbeg right, a couple years down. ago, I had to, I bought this. The oh, Dalton. yeah, they killed Aaron. Killed Dalton. Oh, and Dalton, yeah. I bought it. I have to admit, I bought it mostly for the box <laughs> because the box it is a sweet box. It's cool, right? Oh, Isn't that awesome. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah, totally. and, it, and it's not even cast strength, it's just. Forty-six percent. It's nothing special, but the box is cool. I bought a forty-six percent recently uh, of similar nature. This is the uh, I just did it. I just posted my hundredth review, and it was of this one, Highland Park Twenty-One. This is the new Highland Park Twenty-One. Oh, nice! And it comes in this, uh, yeah, really ostentatious bottle packaging. I mean, it's ninety percent covered by advertising and <laughs> you know, uh, uh, yeah, superlative storylines, but. Uh, good whiskey, but you know, yeah, the the packaging. I admit, when you see it at times, you're like, "Well, that has to connote quality." You know. Did you get it, the? It, to, to me, it's love. They, that's it's why really they got, love. 
they, they, they wrap it in a pretty package because they love you and they want you to buy it. You say you can't put a price on love? I can put a price on love. I, I, I do frequently. Uh, for a 21-year-old whiskey. <laughs> Did you get the, the art bag and the uh, the tan and the, the tin? That looks I like do, yeah. It's uh, right behind me. I don't know if you can see it. It's yeah, up, yeah, I see it there. Yeah. We yeah. also have one on the dog bone after. Uh, I saw that too. Walk. I can't remember his yeah. name now, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Shorty. I mean, for me, I, I love art. Like, I'm an art big homer, obviously. Like, I, I went to a liquor store one day and I was not shopping for $140 whiskey. And I was like, I asked, accidentally asked the question, hey, you got a committee release black? They're like, yeah. that's amazing. Like, yeah. Okay, I got to buy it. It's um, hard to find committee releases. Says, not the not, 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 yeah. end. It's good. Um, you, what store did you buy that at? Uh, this was from Banash Liquors in uh, Banash. Oh, Sorry about the, the Philadelphia Whiskey Society, South Jersey Bourbon Drinkers. Yeah. I walked in and, you know, uh, word of the wise, if you're looking for a committee release, go in about the first week of, of March. That's usually when liquor stores get them and they'll sell it to you if they got it. You just got to ask. That's yeah. how I got this one. I've had the committee release for the last couple of years. I got the uh, the drum last year, unfortunately, which I thought was kind of a bummer. The grooves was cool two years ago, and then the kelpie I thought was all right. But this one, again, is this $140 whiskey? No. None of the stuff does. Would I recommend anybody pay that much for this? No. Uh, it's all Pinot Noir finish or uh, matured. That's great. Uh, it's better than the drum. It's probably the better one that they've put out recently, but uh, I wouldn't say, again, I don't know when they're going to hit their plateau with this. I mean, because like I said, last year at this time, it was 120 bucks. Now it's 140. Wow. So we were talking earlier, it says 20 years of committee releases. This is the 20th year. So I wonder if maybe we've hit that happy point and maybe next year, it's it you know they do it's based or kind of around our big day right so yeah, right. they're always going to have festival bottlings whether they make it in the same yeah, way in the future funny. like the festival bottle that they've just released you know the 46 percent version of this mm -hmm. is about 40 yeah right well i, mean, I got actually it wasn't it, it wasn't 140 at high times right 110 yeah 110 but you know what's funny about the, the non-committee releases you get a box you True. don't get a box with the committee releases. That is I don't. True. I don't get that. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know, man. We should write them about it. I'm sure they've heard. <laughs> but sure. I gotta say, like, have you opened it yet? I haven't. I mean, I, I guess I always just run into the same thing with this. Is like, as an Ardbeg fan, I'm of course gonna buy it. Because I know I'm gonna buy it. We're sucked in. Like after the drum, I have to admit the pangs of like conflict did exist. I was like, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> hey, would you trick me? <laughs> wait, this is twenty dollars more than the drum, and the drum was like not that amazing. In my opinion. So I was like, and I think I think the art big community is well aware or well voiced on this opinion that. Every year is not so great on the committee stuff. You don't need it, and and this and when you get these weird ones that come out once. In fact, uh, Skew just posted uh, yesterday an R bag label that's coming. It was like a I don't remember what it was, twenty two year old or something like that, and Whoa. it's just you know <laughs> nice. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, Mike would buy that. <laughs> Mike would buy all those old ceramic maker's marks. If the if the old bottles, if the animals had died of natural causes, sure, but not otherwise. That's just wrong. Yeah, the brew dog, world's strongest beer. <laughs> what is that's yeah, just I, wrong? I'm just trying to keep it light, boys. Keep it light, keep it bright. Keep it light. So, Gilo, you're a uh, you're a peated whiskey fan, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, I am, sir. Yes, I am. What are your uh, What are your go tos? Well, you know, again, you can't go wrong with this ten, this Ardbeg ten. I, I really like Befroig. Uh I know we discussed it when you had me on. The Car Chase is probably like one of the most solid limited release lines out there. 
And again, back to price point, you know, under a hundred bucks a bottle, you know, it's special, it's unique. Maybe sometimes it's just a regular release at cast strength, but Hey, I'm fine with that. Um, so, you know, again, the art bag, I like their core range, all these special editions you talked about, they're out of my price range. And so I've kind of steered clear of them unless I was at a show. I really like Kohoman a lot. They didn't like, they were, they were great right out of the gate. I remember we had like a two year old Kilhoman back in, I don't know, 2010. And it was just fantastic. Yeah. You know, the Malkir Bay was kind of the one I think won Mike over. Oh, you. <laughs> I think that's the one that won you over that. Cause we had, a what is that? So that's a new label that Skew posted that Ardbeg is coming out with uh, supposedly. It's a, uh, this is so weird. Cast strength. Did he put it on Twitter or did he put it on Instagram? Always on Twitter. Uh, it's 46.7, which is weird that that's cast strength. And it's coming out. You know, that's the label showing up in the on the government's website. And that's going to probably be like some $300 bottle. Wait, right? what is it? It's, it's is just it called. Really? Another NAS release? Yeah. Single cask. Oh. So it says on the label, it's one of 179 bottles. So what's that? What's that gonna? What would a single cast art bag be? Five hundred. Five hundred bucks. Right. I mean, that's just. I mean, even if you look at the age statement stuff, the high age statement stuff of theirs, that the uh, the nineteen or whatever, the mm -hmm. twenty somethings, they're all. I mean, they're just too pricey for my blood. Yeah, and I just won't pay that much for a heavily peated whiskey unless it's a real good deal, especially if it's not like sherry finish or like has some like other maturation. I don't know. It's it it's this weird fanaticism about art bag. Yeah, I agree. They're driven up the price, and it's monsters. yeah. And as much as I'm I'm, I'm a fan, I'm not going to go crazy. Try to, I wouldn't spend the money on any of that stuff. Yeah. I think though, it's not so bad on the you know, on the the it's like collecting I don't know baseball cards or something, mm -hmm. right? It's like. You want them from every year of a certain rush hour hour. or something like that, right? What about rush hours. Yeah, but that's but those aren't um, those are kind of easy to get. That's not that's actually not difficult. But these are a little bit more difficult, and there's only so many per year. You're a completist. Uh, maybe a little bit, at least on the. But I, you know, I'm I'm getting to the point where if I can't get. Uh, well, I'm not gonna freak out about it. This is too much work. There's always something new. We know somebody who gets gets a lot of stuff. Uh, gets all of his uh, committee releases and Ardbeg 21s on um, auction, right? And doesn't. Uh, no comment. Who it is? You want some? There you go. Send somebody over. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Where are you, Mike? I'm probably not far from you. He's right behind. He's right behind Angelo. <laughs> I got a runner. I could take it right over Angelo. <laughs> I just like the art big, the general art big taste. Yeah, it's, uh, road ties and creosote. And creosote. Yeah. Power. Yeah. A little bit hey, of sulfur. Uh, okay. Yeah. Before we go completely I'm off the I'm a runner. Thanks. What do we think of the BC overall? I like it. I if would you give it a number. You have to give it a grade. Uh, high B's. Yeah, I'd say it's, yeah, it's a B, B plus. Like eight, 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 nine. Yeah, eight, 80, 87, 88, Yeah, somewhere. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. I do a five point scale. I gave it a two point seven five out of five. So that's a B minus. Yeah, yeah. B minus. Yeah. Okay. I got like an, 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 an eighty something for you. I think yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Right around that range. But I think it's an interesting add for the price point. It's hard to it's hard to overlook forty five dollars yeah. anymore. Nothing's forty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing for forty five dollars. How much is that? We broke the we broke the fourth wall. We broke the fourth wall. That's amazing. <laughs> it went right over that black line in the middle right there. That's cool. You broke the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh wall. You went <laughs> through the fence in the backyard. Two fences. And you, and you sent the right guy to do it. That was it's amazing. Not He's an okay guy. And you know what he is? He's a wee beastie. He is a wee oh, beastie. He's, he's not the wee beastie. He's the he's, beastie. <laughs> <laughs> 12, five, five, a buck sixty. 
There's nothing we about him. There's five, 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 one sixty. He he's eleven. There's oh, he's, we and he's eleven. Him. He's not we about him. He's not twelve yet. Just a beastie. No, another couple of weeks. All right. Well, thank you, Mike. You're not getting it back. How much is that, Bob? <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't. I think you know. I think K and L had it for like forty bucks. Yeah, that's forty dollars. I think so. The three-year-old style show. It's, a, it's a three-year-old, which you know, it's, again, yeah. to compare a three to this five, they they hold up. They really do. Bunahaben, right? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's the Bunahaben peated still. Yeah, it's the peated. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -mm -mm. I just like young. I like young peated whiskeys. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, I did a um, on my channel. I want to say it was two months ago, maybe a little bit longer. I did a, my top five Lafroigs. Lafroig was like being one of my favorite distilleries, and my number one was the Lafroig Ten Cast Strength for that exact reason. It's like young heat when you want the punch, but it gives you complexity. It's at a sub eighty dollar price in most cases. You get something a little different every year. Just a fantastic pour all the way around. And that was yeah. that was this year's car chase. Uh, no, he's, but they jacked up the ABV. I haven't had the new car chase yet. The new new one, the twenty. No, I mean, I mean, with nineteen, the nineteen one. Was that the that was no, the ten? No, but they, the regular Lafroy ten cast drink. Yeah, so they do. But they raise it up the ABV. It was, it was good. Independent. Yeah, they do a different batch release every year of the of the ten at cast drink, which is yeah. the one of the car chase. The car chase last year was the triple wood cast drink. Right. Which was good. Uh, not one of my favorites. It was, it was triple wood. That was the one we talked with Simon about. This year, mm -hmm. the Lafroy Karchis this year is the red wine and port finish. Yeah. Right. Because port, be yeah. that port finish one, the fully port finished one from 2013 is impossible to find. So I'm very much looking forward to it and that they're delving into the red wine. I think all the wine finishes uh, finished Karchis ones have been good. The Fino was really good. Fino was really good. They did the Amazonas. It was 18. 14. 18 was a Fino. Yeah, 18. Yeah. yeah. And 14, it was the Amontillado, which was awesome. In 16 was the Madeira. It wasn't one of my favorites, but I know a lot of people that love them. I mean, like, well, they, that's they the Madeira that. finish. I mean, that's it's hit or miss for people. A lot right. of people don't like Madeira. Right, right, right. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, so this one's going to be red wine and port. So I'm, I'm just. Dying to try to try it, and and, and this will be the third whiskey we've had this year that's a port finish, so it must be like all the rage that everyone port finished oh, everything. Interesting. What other ones have you had yeah. this year? We had a tin shed, uh, an Australian whiskey that was port finished. That was that was we an had, Australian port though, right? Yeah, we had an, uh, but still port finished. Still port. We had a uh, an amaruth that was port finished. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. So that might be like the, everybody's port finishing this year. It's just what we're all going to do. Hard to get the sherry anymore. Yeah. Hard to One get sherry. I'm really hunting for is the, uh, and it's not as easy to find in the States, I guess. Glenn Scotia did a 14 year old tawny port. So oh, yeah. I saw port. that. I really got to try that. I uh, Coincidentally, if you guys are interested, um, I've been doing a happy hour on my show for the last couple of weeks and talking about a, hand uh, 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 distillery bottle from Glen Scotia. I actually did an interview with them today. It's going to post tomorrow morning. From oh, very nice. Glen Scotia. Glen Scotia. Nice. Yeah, I interviewed the master distiller and um, the <laughs> ambassador and talk about a bunch of things about Glen Scotia. So check it out if you're interested. Oh, but cool. I really want to find that Tawny Port. I, I can't find it anywhere in the States. I think it was their their uh, Isla, or not Isla, their Fisio release or their, I don't remember what they call it. It was one of their like limited releases this year, and I'm just not sure where to find it. But God, I gotta I gotta get my hands on it. Uh, if you like port, I can only imagine what a 14. That's the Campbelltown. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do they call it? They're a they're a, a, a big supplier now to this, this SMWS, this Scotch Whiskey Society. Yeah, and I, oh, I, really? I have like the last five or six bottles from them from Glen Scotia, oh, and they've wow. all been fantastic. Just. That's awesome. I like the angle of the dangle. I got to tell you, it's nice. They're not owned yeah, by Spring Bank, right? Uh, uh, that's yeah. yeah, that's good. Uh, SMWS. Yeah, that's. I didn't even realize that. That's cool to know. Yeah. They're awfully good. When did Simon say that the uh, uh, the new car chase was coming? I thought he said August. Sure, right? Yeah, August, August, but probably around here, September, maybe about by you, 
middle end of August. Getting you, there. You get stuff first. Sometimes, yeah. By the time it filters down through the the dark path of PA in New Jersey and slower yeah. New Jersey. That's usually when I see things right around like uh, for the yeah. cartridges. It's like late July, early August. Yeah. Unless you find it somewhere online, you know. Yeah, I didn't find it until November last year. I think I got it late too, and I found it at this uh, Armenian-owned uh, <laughs> liquor store in uh, Glendale, and uh, which was an amazing. I didn't realize. Oh, yeah. that, <laughs> oh they had so much. Oh my god, this place was amazing, um, and there they had. Uh, it was just incredible, and then the the section of like Armenian, what's that called? Um, Arak, A R A K. It's like Armenian brandy. It was mm. stunning. They had like fifty-year-old bottlings and just, just oh, amazing wow. stuff. Um, yeah, but they had last year's like twenty bottles of last year's car chase. Wow. It was weird, and it was like sixty bucks. Just sitting around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was strange. <laughs> Now, right after we talked to Simon, I went to the place around the corner for me, and they ordered two bottles, the 18 and the 19, for me to they, pick them up. Oh, they can still they were, get it? They were able to get the 18 and the 19. Well, I, I can't remember the and number. they were like 112, 115 bucks a bottle. Yeah, so it's probably it's gone up a bit. Because it was older and, you know. Now it's older, yeah. And that was That's, with tax included. Didn't he say that they do fifteen thousand models worldwide? Yeah. Yes, so, I think so it used to be seventy five hundred, and then it went up to fifteen thousand. Yeah. That's amazing. You can still find some, and the majority of it comes to the states. So that's, so what, that, that's what he said to us. Yeah. So they're up, they're under the house. They're they're not coming out. <laughs> I'll build a wall of, of, of cartridges. Did you leave a space for you down there? Yeah, when you die, you can just bury I them. Bury you. Well, if you guys ever get your hands, you know, if you get your hands on the cartridges, you should let me know. I'd love to, uh, you know, maybe we can do a live review, uncorking or something like that. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd I have uh, the twenty. Yeah, we can do the twenty. Yeah, or yeah, any of them. Let's do the twenty. Any of them, for that matter. Yeah, I've got, I've got about seven or eight of them down below. It's been fun chatting, y'all. But I gotta, I gotta sign off. It's uh, cheers, hour, and I gotta get up early tomorrow. But uh, really fun chatting with you, gentlemen. Right, cheers. Cheers. Talk, Great right? talking to you. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for popping in. You. For sure. That was fun. See, so we're at, we're not quite at Springsteen territory. No, no, we're, just, we're very early. <laughs> we're an opening in this. act at this point. This, yeah, we're, this is more yeah. like, this we're is Twisted more Sister like, opening up for Kiss. Now, this is like Miles Davis, early 1965, where he had <laughs> gravity and he walked off stage. <laughs> That's kind of where we're at. Just gets right angry now. and leaves. Yes. That's right. That that's yeah. kind of where we're at right now. Did you so, pour off some uh, some stosha? Well, I had it. I had some. Why well, didn't you have? That's awfully good. I did. I had that's it with good. you guys at uh, at your at Mike's house. That was really yeah, good. It's awfully good. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna it's nice having that. a runner. <laughs> it is. I need to get one of those. Where do you get those? Well, well, from from here to there, it might man, involve like like woman. superhero like speed. How do you, you know, spell? How do you spell that? S T S T A O I S H A. Hey, Aaron. Yo. Uh, you know when when a man loves a woman, or when two people really care for each other. Yeah, well, you see. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get a runner. <laughs> you know. You see, when you make some bad decisions. And you come up and when I mean when you you know still here he's laughing at us or he's just crying because it's awful I'm not really sure. I'm gonna say it one more time my phrase of the week he's hit rock bottom <laughs> isn't that that Stosha a a private bottling or independent bottling a peated rum cast for high time that's got to be fantastic Stosha. right wow that's what wait oh, oh, oh wow look at that so. So you took a Glen Scotia, you peated it, and then you threw it in a rum case. That's, What's the one you have? Is that that's an independent yeah. bottling, right? Which one? Yeah, that's the, one the, you, uh, the that's the society one I have. Yeah. No, the one that Mike, the one that Angela just poured. What is that? Oh, the the Stoisha. Is that a is that Milroy's? That's the. Uh, that's the uh, oh, the it's a Milroy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Milroy. Yeah. That's the girls. Yeah, that's yes. Whiskey Sisters. Yep. That is the Whiskey Sisters. That the Whiskey Sisters and the Barry Brothers got together. 
and made a, gl- a baby. <laughs> they made a beautiful, they beautiful baby. <laughs> oh, that they have that. Well, they have it on uh, KNL's website, which they don't have it in stock. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah, so I said it's cheap. It's it's really good, and for and again, all the talk about ten year, twelve year, twenty year, whatever, three years. It's really yeah. good. No, I'm not going to call it cheap. I'm going to say it's a bargain. It's oh, but the it's four, a value. The it's, four it's year old, the same one that four year old from. Uh, oh, that's this is uh, not this is a signatory. It's seventy dollars. Wow, wow. Well, it's signatory. Maybe they're the volume's not the same. They're awfully full of themselves, aren't they? You guys well, don't know how many bottles came to the U.S. You don't know. Yeah, I bet you the girls could get us new more bottles. But yeah, that uh, that was it was really good. And and again, curse you, <laughs> you, you and your smoky whiskeys, you beast, the beast. Uh, well, I'll be talking like David Tennant after all this. The so, first. The first peated whiskey I had was an Oban. The That's not peated. Oban's not peated. It had, to me, it had like a flavor to it. Well, it could be and, a little bit of Highland smoke, but it's and, not. It's and not it was peated. not. It was not good. And after that, I was like, oh, I am not. No, bad, very bad. And little by little, I've been dragged over to the dark side. I can't remember the first one I ever had. Smoky side. I don't. The dark side. It's you know th- there is no dark side of the moon. It's all dark. I think the first one I thought that was going to be th- I don't know what I was thinking. Lee brought over. Was there a Highland Park sixteen? Yeah, he brought that over, and we were both underwhelmed by it. And there wasn't a lot of. And I th- I was expecting it to be heavily peated, and it w- I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't very peated. Right. It wasn't till we got into the Isla stuff that we started. Whoa, this is a whole different. Land, I don't know. It's Highland deep. Park, Highland Park, just I don't know. I was never, never a big fan of it. I always wanted yeah, to be. I, I, I think they're okay, but I always think you know it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's at the end of the world. It's like this dark place, and I always wanted it to be dark and heavy and rich and and smoky, and it's. It never hits all those things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've been nursing this 15 year old bottle that I got that is, I don't know. It's just kind of, eh, it's, it's okay. I have to, I have to change and, and, my and sense. I think, but I think that's the problem. It's okay. It's okay. And there's so much else out there that's not okay. And you talk to like the Highland Park nerds and if new stuff is not as good as the old stuff, right? Yeah. And same thing with the art bag. You know, the new stuff's not as good as the old stuff. Eh. One of the guys, uh, he travels a lot for work, and he'll pick up the bottles through Duty Free. And and they're good. They really are. They're good. But would I go out and buy them? I don't really know. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm just not a fan of Highland whiskey. I'd rather have stuff from other places. I don't know. I just don't get the Highland Park thing. And they've gone through all these changes, and I don't know. You're awfully quiet, Mr. Gilo. What, what do you think of the Dalmore whiskeys? Not my thing. Not Same my thing. thing. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Although, yeah. I got to say, the single cast nation Dalmore that came out a few years back, that was very good. That was, I think, in the first run of their whiskeys. What was that one? That King Alexander the something? King Alexander the Third, or yeah. whatever it was. That was, that was, that was really but good. I, That's also a $200 bottle of whiskey. But I, I also don't think that they're representative of typical Dalmore whiskeys. That they're more like well, well that's well, that's the story. Like, well, I, that's I independent. That, well, that's independent bottlings for you, right? Yeah. So that Dalmore single cast nation, I had it for the first time at um, we threw we had Jason and Joshua out here, and they did a tasting for us, twenty thirteen ish, and that I think that Dalmore was in their first run, their first six bottlings, and. I thought it was, it wasn't my thing, but my wife loved it, and I got her a bottle because it's a, it was a sorry. wine. What was that? A sh- that was a big sherry cask one, right? Uh, I'll look it up. I know I, re- I know we reviewed it. So just to recap, he name dropped. He made it seem like he's a better spouse than the rest of us because we've never bought anything for our wives. 
Oh, well, I'm not <laughs> about this at all. Is. So there you go. Was it? Wasn't it a sherry cask? I think so. I I'm sure it was. That's Dalmore. Wait a minute. But I, I like the cigar malt with a cigar. Hmm. But you're basically blowing away your palate smoking a cigar. So, so it's no. Fun. It's funny you say that because we have friends out here who love having cigars with Lafroy. Oh, yeah. What um, year is that? 2013, right? Yeah. 13. That was one of the yep. first releases. Yep. It was in the first six. Yeah. So that was a refill. Refill PX. Refill bourbon in 10 months in a PX. Yep. 46.1, 12 years old. That was Really good. Yeah. Really, really like that one. My. There you go. Look at that. With the exception of the 1263 King Alexander III. There you go. I've never been all look that. At that. Oh, look at that. Jason. Look at that. I now know why. It's all about the ABV. So, yes. <laughs> I like this one. What was yeah. the ABV on this one? This was on 46. This was a 46%. 46.1. Usually they're like at 40. They usually just do yeah. the. Yep. The bare minimum, just like me. They do the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> They're just getting by. Just, just getting, getting by. by. <laughs> just enough to get the job done. I'm not doing extra just credit. Not to anybody no, <laughs> I'm not doing extra credit. I'm not reading any extra. I'm not doing extra credit work. Whatever the, whatever, the sil whatever the syllabus says, I'm doing. That's right. Not a page more. Oh. Perfect attendance. That's what I'm going for. For you kids listening at home. This is Don't a shining do example That's right. of a bad example. This is how to be <laughs> mediocre at its, at its finest. You'll find yourselves drinking on a Friday night. Right. You know, 40% you percent whiskey and 40% uh, ABV whiskey and don't read ahead. <laughs> don't raise your hands. Mediocrity at its finest. Keep your head down. Keep, don't call hey, on you. Not the back, but to the middle of the back. That's and right. And on the sides. Right. And <laughs> you can slink down a little bit. Just Absolutely. so the girl ahead of you, her big hair do, keeps yes. you like Cover from being called on. You know what you got to learn? How to sleep with your eyes open. That's right. Yeah. That's key. Except while driving. <laughs> All right, gents. What do you think? Should we uh, Should we wrap up this? Yep. This show the We're in almost 90 good. minutes. Yep. We can bring on the next band. Bring on the next band. <laughs> the wee beastie. The wee beastie. Oh, we're good. We uh, like you. We so like you, the beastie. Don't forget to thank your uh, your sponsor. Your your. Uh, you stand under the swag tables. Buy your t-shirt. My swag bag. Hey, look. You know what? I'll just be happy if someone clicks that subscribe button. That's all I want. Here we there go. you go. It's free. Hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the yeah. button. Hit the button. Hit the button. By the way, the fact that we put it in like 87 minutes in, I'm thinking they're not going to see this. No. But, yeah, you know. Yeah, you never know. Oh. They're probably in. They're in line for the next band. They're in the bathroom right now buying, you know, get a beer in the bathroom, and then they're waiting for the big band to come out. Waiting for the real band to come out. The real band to come out. <laughs> we're, the, we're, we're just opening out. So I got to say uh, thank you to the Baddish Group for sending these out. Super quick. Super expeditiously. They were delicious. We really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would say it's cheers. Mar in terms of you know final thoughts, it's a marginally not as good as the R Big Ten, but it is still very good. And I think it's a pretty good value. So if you want a punch great. from our bag, great it's great we, we beastie. We beastie. We beastie. We beastie. The, the malt no, user was stopping by. Our bag. Our bag. Cheers, One more. Hard to beg. Wait, clinky. Hard to beg. Cheers. Right, Cheers, We're boys. Done. Cheers. Peace. We're still here. Oh, wait. <laughs>